is now going to really review our lesson. We are now on lesson 9 and this last uh, quarter. Last Sabbath, we talked about uh, the issues raised and uh, outlined in our lesson about humility of heavenly wisdom. And now we are going to study what's the title? Yeah. One Law Giver and Judge. Shall we bow our hands for prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we would like to meet ourselves to empower us by the Holy Spirit. Teach us and lead us. Guide us as we study the lesson in grasp the value of this lesson that will lead us and prepare us to be careful on how we judge one another. Thank you God for the Holy Spirit that will be leading us today. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our gay text found in James 4, verse 12. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy all thou that judges another. This the lesson review is the authored by Pastor Vicente. If you want to access on his website just log in on his the website Lalo Vicente and you can find every Sabbath Sabbath by Sabbath the review our lesson and we shall be using uh, this guide for our review this morning our attitude toward law affects how we relate to others because laws govern how to relate each other. Laws relate how we govern each other. It's on how we understand and how we apply the law. On how we also it relates how we also judge other. Those whose attitude is unbending may also have difficulty in the interpersonal relationships. Our view of the law depends on the degree of respect we have for the wisdom of the law givers. Our law is heard sometimes it tends to be to, to be uh, circumspect. Yung mga open. Pwedeng uh, yung mga just natin ay pwedeng um, uh, mga private, ano? Pwedeng uh, um, private sa Tagalog. Yeah. And so, it, the degree, it depends upon the degree. The degree on how we want, we understand or accept and the wisdom on the lawgivers. Of course, who is our lawgiver? Jesus Christ. Uh, there is said, it is Moses. Yes. There's a law made by Moses, but we need to understand that everything, all wisdom, it all comes from what? From God. So, He is the lawgiver. And we are going to look on three special points in our lesson. Judging one another, judging independently, and judging dependently. On the first part, Judging one another, James said in James uh, 11 and 12, Do not speak evil of one another. He who speaks evil and judges his brother, he speaks evil of the law and judges the law. When you are giving judgment to one another or to other one or to anyone, we are forming our own opinion basing on what we have seen and observed from his or 
this behavior. So, sometimes we are misled by our own perception, by our own opinion. That's why James said, Judges, if do not speak of evil one another, he who speaks evil, in Judges, his brother he speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not doer of the law, but a judge. What's the difference of uh, uh, what is uh, who is a judge? Huh? Who is a judge? Huh? The one who what? What are you referring? What an arbitrary is the judge? Okay. And then, when we judge one another, ang ginagawa natin is what? We are forming our own opinion. Yeah, you form your opinion. That's why you make your own judgment. Yeah. But, it is, it is nice to understand that we have one judge. And that judge that we have is Jesus Christ. And he is a fair judge. Why? Because this judge knows well the law. Yeah. Ayun mga ba, alam nga nila ang law. Pero, ano naman ginagawa nila? Gumagawa sila ng mga palusot. Kaya napakaputi ang leksyon natin. So there is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy and that is Jesus Christ. So, who are you to judge one another? Who are we to judge one another? Hmm? Because if we judge one another, if we judge other one, hmm? we are one. We are not making justice to them. We are doing injustice. Because what? There is only one judge. That's why Paul said, judge not, that you will not be judged. Okay? So, by placing one, uh, by placing ourselves on the judgment seat, we ignore our own weaknesses. We ignore our own weaknesses. Because what? Huh? We are basing our judgment on how we have, we, we behave, on how, on, on our actions. Kaya kung misal, yung kadalasang nag-judge o nag-criticize ay yung man yung silang malimit na gumagawa ng mga bagay na nilang nakikita sa mga tao dahil pinagpapasihan nila ay yung kanilang sarili yeah. they are making judgment basing on their standard lalo tigit ay ito ang sinabi niya and focus instead to one's uh, one uh, on, on others' wrongdoing as if we were somehow outside or above the law. Such a focus also fails to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we are not what? We are not hmm, doing fair to our brothers or to our sisters. We are doing injustice. Thus, we are not keeping the law. <coughs> While we should not be judging others, we must have spiritual discernment. I like that, spiritual discernment. You know our lesson uh, uh, to Sabbaths before the Sabbath? Yung taming the tongue? Yeah. I like our lesson last uh, on that subject, taming the tongue. Taming the tongue. It means what? It it means the the source. The source. Yung pinanggagalingan na dapat nating pumapasok sa ating mga what? Ating mga pananalita. And so that spiritual discernment is what? Ah, kinakailangan natin ibasin natin lahat yung sa mga salita ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So it should all be from the source, the words of God. Para hindi tayo magkasala. Kasi yan ang standard natin. 
So we are to compare what people teach and preach with the with God's word. So as I've said, that should be our standard on God's word. Si pagka sa sarili natin ay nagkakasala tayo. We are what? Judging one another. We should encourage church members to settle the differences among themselves rather than in courts where the judges may or may not be guided by God's word. So that's why we are encouraged that we have to resolve conflict between brothers and sisters, members of the church. We need not to resort to judges or to the court. The Bible says, ang book of Matthew, ang sabi doon, sabi niya ay, puntahan natin yung ating mga kapatid o mga kapatid na nagkasala, kausapin natin siya. And then, pagka nasetel na natin yun, ay di mas mabuti pa, Sister Glock, o Dr. Glock. Ayan. Narito si Dr. Glock. She's one of our APMS based in Central Luzon Conference, or South Central Luzon Conference. Nandiyan din si Sir Bikino. Patayuin nga natin itong mga guest natin. Makita rin ninyo. Mga guwapo mga lalaki at mga babae. Dr. Ramirez. At saka ni Brother Nuno Bikino. Ayan. Pero pa ba tayo mga APMS dyan na nagsali? Oh yeah, we have from Gabian. Oh Brother Rudilin Balana. our top natural ABMS of North, uh, Northern Luzon Mission. Of course, we have uh, a certain Bilisiano, our Associate Publishing Director, who shall we? <laughs> and of course, the Dr. O. Pastor Abidal Rosario. Maka hindi niyo rin siya. Tayo? With the uh, His wife, of course, Mr. Lovely, at ang kanyang um, anak. So, sabi niya is what? We should be guided by God's Word. By God's Word. Hmm? So, only someone who knows the law very well is qualified to judge. Yeah, ang pagkatay like that. Only the one who knows and master the law can qualify to be a judge. Yes. That's why we leave it to God. We leave it to God. Uh, there, there is always a tendency for us to always uh, judge others. Because we base on what we have seen only outside on them. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung puso niya. Makita ninyo, sometimes makakita tayo ng mga kapatid na pumupunta ng church. At pagka pumupunta ng church, ay nakahawag pa ng Bible, di ba? At pag umahawag ng Bible, malapit pa sa puso. Ay sometimes nakikita natin yung tao yun, ay siguro yun ay ha? Siguro yun ay santo o kaya uh, may spiritual ang kanyang buhay. But sometimes din ay judge natin din yung mga iba. Kasi yun ang nakikita natin. Yun ang nakikita natin. Sir, ma'am. Yes, sir. Kukul sa admiration na hindi na go to court for the admission. Marami tayo ng mga natuloy members, the workers, going to the court. So, we need the organization. Na ano ang judgment na yan? Yes, that is the James advise us that if possible, we don't need to go to court in settling our uh, conflict. It is because judges on this earth is what? Pwede, pwede nilang uh, paikot-ikotin lang yung, yung batas. Yeah. Ay ang Panginoong Jesus, kaya lang, we don't have any recourse rather than to go to court for a legal purposes. Sa legal purposes natin, kinakailangan yan eh. Yeah. Kaya lang, mag-ingat tayo Pag-ingat tayo. Ang, ang mga iba kasi, ay pumupunta sila sa court kasi alam nila, nakilala nila yung judge, na yung judge naman yan ay he will make favor on them. Or either, bibigyan siya ng maraming pera. You see, they have patuwan case. How many years na yan? Five years na. 
Pero sa influensya ng ang patuhan, kaya nga iyong mga akusado, they went to court because they know what? They could find justice on the court. Hmm? But what is happening on our time? See? That's why James is telling us, it's possible, uh, kaya lang siya na makahirap din naman, hindi tayo pupunta ng court. Dahil sabi nga natin, it is for legal purposes. Ayan, pupunta tayo ng court. Kasi dito naman sa atin, ay talagang yan naman ang uh, sa ating dito sa mundo. Ayan, dating sa mundo. But uh, the, the advice, our lesson is what? Hmm? We should go to the one who knows the law. Uh, baka mas magandang uh, explanation ni Pastor. Ayan. Dinadala ko mga kapatid ko Oh, so that, uh, today is confronted with this. I know it's happening in AOP. Uh, not only members but workers filing uh, cases in court against the church. Sa narinig ko kay Congressman Abayo, former Congressman, ako yung natouch sa kanyang presentation. Kasi pinag-aralan nila ang mga cases in court. Among the Iglesia de Cristo, sabi niya, there is no record ng membro ng Iglesia de Cristo who went to court. So, Saksin Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses, walang nakarecord na membro na nagpunta sa court. Ang marami sa 70 Adventists. <laughs> sabi ko, Lord. But we have to face the reality. Kaya nga, uh, dinaw natin sa lesson nito para we'll be aware, young people. We are future leaders and we are members of the church. If you read one of the chapters in the Acts of the Apostles, almost one chapter ang binigay ng Panginoon sa Propheta Ellen White advising not to go to court. It is humiliating Christ. When we, we Adventists, we go to court to, to fight against another Adventist, it's humiliating Christ. How much more but we file a case against the church para makatanggap ng, you know, when you win, you will be receiving millions of of pesos pag nanalo ka sa labor court you know so ito ang dapat natin tandaan mga kapatid it's not really God's plan na pupunta tayo ano ang tanong mo pa rin ang adjustment according to the church manual any member any worker of the church who will go to court file the case in court against one another or against the church should be uh, disciplined tatanggalin mo na pangalan niya sa church membership. Kano ang ating standard, mga kapatid. Masakit din yun, mabigat din yun, but yun ang nireveal ng Panginoon sa, sa propeta. We have really to make disciplinary action for any worker, any member who will file a case against the church or against another Adventist member. Discipline, disciplinary action. Tanggalin ang pangalan niya sa roster sa Seventh-day Adventist Church. So, when you are disciplined, you can be back again. Because discipline means to make a disciple. Hindi sabihin na close na ang provision sa kalitasan mo, sa Panginoon ng kalitasan. You can come back to church, but according to the manual, by the baptism. That's the judgment. Because the Bible says, judge in truth. We are just applying, implementing the truth. See? Katotohan. Thank you. Okay, so we go to court because we know that those judges, those attorneys, know the law. Uh, the lesson is, as the one who gives these laws, Jesus was in his unique qualified to explain what they mean and to assess whether or not they have been transgressed. So, he is a fair judge. He gives uh, the real justice to anyone. That's why the Bible says that when Jesus Christ will come, He will come as a what? He will come as a king and He will give us the reward according to what we have done. That is a fair judgment. Walang bias yun. Kung ano talaga yung ginawa mo, yun talaga ang tatanggapin mo 
gantimpala. So, kung ito gumawa ng mabuti, and then we will be judged according to what we have done. So, so when, he, when he comes again, his reward is with him to give all according to his other words. Furthermore, by taking of human nature, living a sinless life, dying in our place and being raised victorious through our sin in death, Jesus is able to save us from sin. Okay? Um, judging independently, uh, verse 13 and 14, the book of James, Come you who say, Today or tomorrow we'll go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? I mean, it is even a vapor that appears for a little time, then and that and then vanishes away. So, who knows what is life? It's like a vapor. It appears today. You do not know what will happen tomorrow. So, if you, uh, if you understand and grasp the meaning of what is life? It appears like a vapor. Nakikita mo ang tao natin ngayon, oh, masaya. Akala mo, pero bukas, di mo na makita siyang babangon pa. Kasi hindi natin alam ang buhay. That's why what? We need to be to just independently. Sabi niya, planning ahead. It may seem very reasonable to plan a year in advance or even more. On the other hand, we also believe that Jesus is coming soon. That someday all of our earthly possessions will be consumed by flames. We know that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. But we are busy accumulating what? Material things for us. And we all know that these material things later on will be consumed on fire. That's why it needs to be what? To be ready always not focusing on material things because we know what is what is life ahead. We know what life after this. Ay mga yung pinagbibisihan kasi natin ngayon ay yung buhay lang natin ngayon. Pero napakabuti nga. I really appreciate that some of our students are still working besides their busy time. Yes. Makita niyo yung mga nakasuot ngayon ng mga guwapong violet na mga barong na yan. Yan ang mga regular working student natin na nag-aambas. Pwede ba patayin natin yung mga nakabiolet na mga yan? Let us see all our regular LEs wearing violet barong na yan. Nasaan yan? I know there are 23 because we have distributed 23 barongs. Ayan. For our regular year-round student literature evangelist. Ilan sa inyo gusto makatanggap din ng kanyang parang nakatulad niya? Ha? Join us in the publishing ministry and let us see. Ha? He said, On the other hand, we also believe that Jesus, yes, is coming soon. Those two approaches to life are not necessarily in conflict because what? We need to plan ahead because we know that Jesus Christ will come. And Yes, plan us if Christ were not coming for years, but, I like the next statement, but live each day as if Christ were coming tomorrow. I like that. We live each day that is if Christ is now coming tomorrow. And so, if we are conscious of that statement, it leads us to live every day, living no what, not judging one another. Yeah. Kasi pag nag-judge tayo, ang sabi niya is you are committing, you are judging the law. See? And you are sinning. Many would consider the tricks men who decided the pay, that is the story. And then, uh, life is uncertain. It's a mist. Mist. Yung uh, mist na yan ay uh, mamaya, nandiyan yan, pero mamaya ay wala na rin. So, it emphasizes transitory nature of life. And there's always the imminence of death. We are all just a heartbeat away from it. 
So, mabuti lamang yung mga sinabi ng Bible na hindi mamatay pagdating ng Panginoong Isus. Pagamat, ang sabi rin ng Bible na tayo ay mamamatay. But, we need to plan ahead of that. Hmm? Where will we be? Hmm? After resurrection. Yan yan ang tumagig pinakamaganda. So, planning ahead. Then plus, not only is life is short, but in and of self, it can also be so unsatisfying. Yes. Sometimes it's so unsatisfying. Kita namin doon kanina, tumataan kami. Eh, merong chemists. Chemists natin. Uy, sinong bag din dito? Ang pusap. Yung isa ay kum laude. Yung isa naman ay suma kum laude. Kasi dadalawa daw sila. <laughs> so, sometimes you are satisfied. Kung ano yung mga accomplishment natin niyo, we are not satisfied. Yung ganda yung testimony ni Simba yung kanina, may ko story pa. Yung ganda yun. Okay, judging dependently. Hmm? Kita nyo yung t-shirt niya, ganda. Sabi niya iso, they will be done. Mabuti rin. Renos niya yung my will be done. Sabi niya, Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is what? It is sin. So, to whom who knows what is good and what is right and is not doing it right, you are what? Committing sin. We all know the law. Minimorize pa nga natin yan eh. Alam pa natin yung mga kuwit, mga tuntok niya. But if you are not doing right. And the other hand, we also be a master of the law. But forget the other peripheries of the law. Katulad ng isang mayaman. Ang sabi niya, when, when Jesus said, okay, ito, ah, tuparin mo, gawin mo ito. Ang sabi niya, ah, I've already known that. Since life, I am practicing But there is still what, needs something to be rectified. So, deopulente, that is the Latin word, deopulente, means what? It means, uh, deopulente, it's a Latin word, means God's willing. God's willing. So, this means Simply, appending, God willing, they will do it. To end all sentence about future, our future plan. It means we should submit all our plans to God. So, judging independently. We need to uh, be judging independently on God. Because He is the right and true judge who knows well the law because He is the one who permulated and in the law. And so, he said, God, I want to know your will. If you are not pleased with these plans, please show me. I like that. We need always to be dependent on the will of God. Dependent on His word. Yeah. Pero, ang question is what? I am depending on the words of God. Then, bakit ang magkakasala pa rin naman? Ayan. Bakit kaya? Ha? Bakit kaya? Pag sinasabi natin, eh, kinakagawa ko lang. Pero, magkakasala pa rin tayo. Remember this. Our nature is what? Nature always to commit sin because we are not perfect. There's only one perfect from the beginning. But since from the beginning, we can also read it from the Bible, na perfect lang ang tao until na hindi siya mag-input ng kanyang puso o kanyang sarili. You know the words of God, but how you will practice it in your life, that is the real question. So, sabi niya is what? If you are not pleased with these plans, please show me. 
not my will, but thy will, Lord God. Then if our plans are not good, God will show us that as long as we remain attentive and willing to correct our plans or even change them entirely, we need to kinakailangan if we realize that we are not on the right direction, we need to turn around, change them entirely. Hmm? So knowing and doing what is good is what? The issue. Knowing what is good and not doing it, that is the real issue. James is here dealing with the attitude of self-dependence. He said, in fact, he calls that attitude arrogance in the words spoken as boasting. He says, is evil. Arrogance in boasting. You're boasting yourself. Hmm? Like, like say that. That's how important the right attitude is for the Christian. Our right attitude, hmm? yung mga uh, pag-uugali natin, behavior natin, Sabi niya, the Bible defines sin in two ways. James said, doing wrong, and yeah, you know what is right, hmm? you know what is right, but you're not doing it. You know what is wrong also, but you're doing it. So, doing wrong, and not doing right. On the other hand, sabi niya, the first definition given by John, sin is the transgression of the law. Doing wrong, because you know what is right. The law is based what is right. If you are doing contrary to that law, you are doing wrong. On the other hand, James said, ah, Therefore, to him that knoweth the good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Ayun pala. Ayun pala ang malaking kasalanan. Okay. Then, of course, the, the last thought of our lesson, in the book of the Mount of Blessing, page 126. He who is guilty of wrong, wrong is the first to suspect wrong. Put this in your mind. This is the statement that we need to leave to you in our lesson. So it's nice to always ponder the words of God. That when we judge one another, we need to always remember that when we are judging, we are forming only our own <coughs> opinion. And we are doing injustice to our brothers and sisters. So he said, by condemning another, is trying to conceal all excuse that he built of our own heart. Pero sabi ko sa Bible, ang sabi niya ay nakikita daw natin yung muta ng iba pero hindi natin nakikita na mas malaki pa rin sa atin. So, no sooner than the first first pair of sin that we got to excuse or accuse each other. And this is what human nature will inevitably do when uncontrolled by the grace of Christ. So, we need only to be in reliance to the Holy Spirit leading our life. The Bible says it is from the source, from the words of God. you have any additional points you want to raise question? Pastor Kadali is there. Yeah. He is ready to answer you if you have a question. But Pastor Kadali would like to give uh, more elaboration on our lesson. Uh, gusto ko nang ikon yung judge, judgment kasi, you know what, um, as human beings, we have uh, the tendency to point out the sin of a uh, person. Yun ba ay judgment? Uh, kasi pag hindi natin maintindihan yung word na judgment, pag, sabihin, pag sinabi yung mali ka, ah, Ikaw talaga, wala, hindi na-judge mo ako palagi. Diba? Yun ang ating eh, concept. Uh, yung uh, pag... Uh, yun. So, ano ba ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Yung uh, judgment. Kaya tuloy yung iba, ano? They are afraid to 
uh, tell their friends that what they are doing is bad. Because they think that when they do that, they are judging that person. So uh, I believe that uh, that is not the case. Um, in a way, that is judgment. But uh, uh, Pastor Bermudez uh, said a while ago that, well, Jesus Christ said himself that we should judge righteously. Therefore, we can judge a person but with righteous judgment. The question is, how can you do that? How can you do that? Well, we praise God. We praise God because we have the words. According to, according to uh, uh, Paul himself, that the old scriptures are what? Are inspired by God, right? For reproof, for teaching. Actually, teaching there, uh, reproof is a form of judgment, right? Because you are teaching, you are you are revealing to a person, you know what? Uh, your uh, your direction is uh, is uh, uh, wrong. You are going to the wrong direction. You need to change your ways. Okay, in a form that is a judgment. But you are following what the Bible tells us. What the Bible tells us. So don't be afraid, okay, to reveal by God's grace, by God's grace, after reading the Word of God, and you are convicted that that person is wrong, doing something wrong, then by God's grace, tell that person that what he is doing is bad. You are giving a righteous judgment and you are teaching that person now at all costs at all costs it was mentioned a while ago that we should avoid going to court right at all cost at all cost but i'm glad also dear friends that the bible tells us after we have done everything the bible also tells us in romans 13 that authorities are actually god's ministers right so we should balance the two. They are also God's leader ministers who, um, you know, um, they have also uh, the desire to do what is right. But of course, we cannot read the motives, and so we need to ask the Lord to help us. Like for example, uh, the experience of uh, Paul. He appealed to Caesar, right? Caesar was the judge. He appealed to Caesar because he was accused of something else and said, okay, I appealed my case to Caesar. And you know what happened? Of course, the decision was not bad because uh, he died. He, he, was, uh, uh, he was beheaded, right? He was beheaded. Okay. Uh, but again, God has, uh, you know, we, we believe that God is in control and uh, we need to uh, entrust everything to God. So that's uh, one thing that I would like to share. The point that um, you know, the word "do not judge" should not refrain us from teaching, from leading people, from pointing people to the right direction. Who is God? His laws, His ways. But first of all, first of all, we need to study ourselves. We need to ask the question, why am I doing this? What is my motive? Is it for the glory and honor of God or is it for me? If you think that it is for you, don't do it. But if you think after carefully studying the words that it is for the glory and honor of God, then go for it. Thank you, Pastor. You are raising your hand a while ago. Do you have any question? How can you classify the just and unjust works? Um, example, um, parang we are doing good things. Um, oh, okay, parang si Robin Hood, di ba po? He is helping the poor but he is stealing. Parang how can you classify the just and unjust um, doings or, or acts? How can we judge that people parang ganun? ethical issues, yeah. I, we all know what is right, right? Where can we base that? The standard of the law, so that is right. Hmm? 
Ini ya, sirup pinggul. Kalau kita agamanya, kita nakal. Sebelum ini bikin rumahnya sah, mengapur, omeyon, apa ni jas? Tama apa yang kita agamanya? Ena terus es tama yang kita agamanya temu tulung sih saya pak. Oh, perlu sanya kita buat lagi lah. Tama tu bayi pemandangannya. So. O mag-uting leksyo natin kanina ang sabi ni Pastor Kadabi Iswat hindi rin masama It is also fitting for us to judge others Big sabihin niya na ituruan natin siya ng tama but is yung righteous judgment Hindi yung you are judging one another or judging other one because gusto mo lang kung ikaw ay may pakita ang mabait o tama ang ginagawa mo na siya ay nagkakamali Yun ang maling pamamaraan Okay, I think uh, uh, there are any more additional points in our lesson? Oh yes? More uh, than 10 is the time of the day. Yeah, we will end at 10.10. 10. But uh, what's the program of this? I have a long question. Kasi kanina, na, nabanggit po ni Director, Director Balaya tungkol doon sa standards, you know, standards. Basically, when we define standard, it is a measuring stick when somebody's judge. So basically, kapag ka meron isang tao na kumuhin ng crime, babalik tayo sa standard for judge, for judging them. So now, as a Christian, what is our standard? And who will make that standards for us? Yun lang po yung aking question. Okay, so as a Christian, what is our standard? Okay, the... The law. Yes, the law. Kaya ano pa? Saan tayo pumunta? We cannot go above the law. Yes, the law. E ngayon, as Christian. Ang lesson natin, sabi niya, you know what is good, but you are not doing right. That is, sin. Alam natin lahat, mga kapatid, but we are not doing it right. We are committing sin. But, ang sabi niya is what? We need to turn around. Change it entirely. And come to Christ. That is the, 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 the big issue for us in the book of James. He's telling us that if we are on this situation, we need to realize and turn entirely to our God. Okay? I think uh, Pastor Madira has also something to say about the lesson. Okay, thank you very much. May God bless us. Sa mga kapatid na gusto pang magtanong dyan, lapitan nyo na lang si Pastor Kadalik Pamayan para...